Welcome back, everybody, to more of the horridness. It's me, Cooper, and today we're going to take our item, the firegrass, which I'm curious if it tells me if I have it. Yep, there it is. Look, firegrass. Um, it's time to take the firegrass back to the guy. Oh, this game is trying to be annoying. You enter the border region frontier prairie. Every six steps, you have a 40% chance. Yeah, you've already told me that. What the hell? He already told me that. Why is he telling me again? 92. Okay. Was I not supposed to be fighting things this entire time? Shit. Alright, monster attack. But it's the first fight of the episode, so I'm sure this one will be fun. Okay, come on. Armor source, I want you right here. Flame swordsman, you're in the corner. Uh, wing dragon is going to be near the mountains. Uh, probably right here. And mega zowler, one of my new favorites, is going to be right here. Oh, you dumb dumb. Alright, so basically all I have to do is move you here to force the opponent to move sideways, buying me enough time to move Mega Zowler into position. Oh, what the fuck are you trying to fight? Okay, fine. I attack you. I know I'm not the strongest monster in the world, I know I'm still leveling up my wing guardian whatever, dragon whatever. It just has such a cool attack pattern, I'm willing to keep it around. Good 35. 21 damage is still pretty solid. I guess they're trying to get me because they know... I'd have to leave the mountains if I wanted to stay safe. But, how much HP do you have? I could kill you in the next attack, so I'm just gonna kill you. Yeah, I'm not I'm not scared of you, Irby. I used to have- well, I still have one of you now. Uh, my original Irby already passed away, sadly. Now I have a Mega Zowler. Yeah, 44. Good job, Winged Dragon. Wing, Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress. Yay, two experience. This is this is what we always wanted. Let's just move over. What's the point of making them gr making us grind if their experience we gain is actually zero? All right, here we go. You enter Westland. Yes, thank you. I appreciate that, Rex Raptor. I mean, I know what I'm doing, but I'm glad that you're there understanding. Looks like you held up your end of the deal. Right, time to turn that grass into a bomb. It's done. I call it my special road clearing bomb. What are you waiting for? Take me to the boulder. Oh, that's weird. All right, I'm saving the game just because I made it all the way over here. And I don't want to have to do it again because the game crashes. Or my power goes out. Even though the game's never crashed. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Still 40% chance, which is higher than I like to see. It's cool that you can have people follow you in this game. I like that. Never seen that before in this game. Ah, shit. Don't worry, dude. We're gonna be fine. My monsters are quite powerful. So I'm gonna play my armor source, my flame swordsman, my wing dragon, and my mega zowler. The wing dragon wasn't supposed to be there, but I just said screw it. Alright, I think out of all of these, I'm a little worried about the battle guard card, or capsule, but I, I can handle it. And that guy just walked into his death. Okay, fair enough. If he's willing to do it, then I'm willing to attack him. He may be able to hit me once back, but the problem is that I'm just so tanky. Armorsaurus got its name for a reason, you know. But my rolls have been garbage. I, I managed to hit him and kill him, but... My rolls have been garbage when it comes to a lot of my members. Wing Dragon seems to be doing alright, but the rest of them just, just got off it. Alright, Mega Zeller is happy they moved there, because I don't care if I don't attack in the Wasteland, I just care that I can attack my opponent. Ah, there we go. Alright. So then, we're going to move Wing Guardian, Dragon, whatever, up forward to see if they'll come towards us. Good, good. So far, so good. Next, we're going to move a little bit down. Just to bait the guy in. We want him to be too far in to do anything else. Okay, he's not willing to, but I guess what? I can just move Armor Source over. And now it doesn't matter what you do, because I have a sniper and a sniper. Okay, yes, yeah, so you could make that play, but that play is terrible in the long run. What's your attack pattern again? Is it just all around you? Yeah, that's, see, that's not bad. It's just not great. So if I move Armor Source here, would you be willing to go back to where you were? Knowing that Armor Source would not have a buff? Ah, you would. Well, that's all well and good, because I'm actually just going to do this instead. Actually, that'd do, like, no damage. I just let Armorsaurus win the fight. It's a, it's not a hard fight. Even if that, even if Battle Guard likes Wasteland, which I highly doubt it does. It's probably a Plains guy. Maybe even a Forest guy. Alright, 32 damage. 
Battle Guard, you want to see how much you can do to an Armorsaurus with your Bitter Smash? 65% chance. You definitely hit me. Nine damage, which is more than I expected. All right, let's uh, do that combo attack now. Yeah, that Wind Dragon's ready. We got Fire Shark coming out. The assist is good. Chance to hit Battle Guard is 89% critical hit. All right, good job. With a crit and an assist, you do about as much damage as Armorsaurus in the Wasteland. Level 12, heck yeah. 3 HP, 2 speed, whatever. I'll take it all. 55, feeling fine. One more, come on, get, get out of here before it... I was going to say, get me out of here before it rolls. You enter Eastland. Okay, I have a Westlander with me, but you are not to hurt him. He has a giant bomb with him, and that could do major damage to you all. I'm pretty sure the route we want to go is this way and then up. Don't worry, we're going to clear those rocks for you people. Don't worry, guard, I got this. All right, this, this the place? Leave it to me. Okay, all set. Oh, now you can get through. Well, my job here is done. Thank you, dude. That was nice of you. So, now that we've opened up this area, we have a whole new place to explore. You enter the East Prairie. The East Gate is just up ahead. Every six steps, another 40% chance. Well, maybe the enemies will be stronger here to scare me. Oh, I hit a rock. Oh, it didn't matter. He said just ahead, so I'm moving forward. Interesting. Okay, Armor Swords stays where he is, but Flame Swordsman, you're going to be on this side of the map now. Uh, let's see. Winged Dragon, I'm going to need you here-ish. No. Winged Dragon goes here. Flame Swordsman goes here. And then Mega Zowler goes here. Whoa! New enemy! Looks like Time Wizard or Rogue Doll. It is Rogue Doll. Wow. Alright, let's see. Rogue Doll likes the light. Pentagram Curse. Not the best stats except for HP. Mega Zowler, horrifying enemy in my opinion. Great stats, uh, including HP. I need my Mega Zowler in position to fight them so they don't move up and attack my other guys. They moved up. I have to protect my boys. I have an assist coming in, so I at least can work with that. Body Slam assisted. How much accuracy are we talking? 89% chance. With a 10, we got them. But they're tanky, like I said, so get ready for Megazord to just obliterate my my HP bars. Yep. Luckily, Flame Swordsman's in a safe spot. I do care about Winged Guardian. Oh my god, that's a crit. Well, that Winged Guardian didn't last long because my opponent got a crit. Welcome to hell, everybody. Uh, how much HP do you got left? I can die to another crit. Thank God you weren't part of that. So, looks like we're not training Wing Guardian. That's a shame. Flame Swordsman luckily does attack in front of him, so I could have just used Flame Swordsman. He would have actually had a better, uh, better hit chance. 89, really? I barely got that. Holy crap. Well, that was literally the most unlucky crit ever. They weren't even in Wasteland when they did it. That's why I felt safe. And my safety was, uh, not right. So, oh, you just attacked two in front. That's wild. It's not a bad attack range. It's just weird that you only have one. So my Mega Zowler is going to try and win the Body Slam battle. It is a very big tank, which is why I took the crit with just about half health. 86% chance. As long as, as long as I stop rolling high, we should be fine. 36 damage is good enough. They're not going to move forward. Oh, wait, yeah, they will. They hit Flame Swordsman. Oh, no, nope, they're not. The Rogue Doll move forward to attack Armor Saurus next turn. I care more about my uh, Flame Swordsman. I want him to survive. Everyone's been telling me that Flame Swordsman is amazing in this game, and uh, I think it's good so far, and I'd love to see why it becomes amazing. Alright, Mega Zowler took it down. Man, that's really unlucky. I lost a, a whole capsule to a freaking crit. But what is one to do? So you run away, because honestly, I don't want that thing attacking you. You're already hit. And we've never seen this thing do damage before. It's alright, we're gonna move you in a way where he'll have to come and attack, um... Well, either Flame Swordsman or Armor Saurus. Oh crap, he's going for Flame Swordsman. What are you doing? I need to... I need to get my guys out of there. Because this guy's just gonna snipe them. Weird. 
he just really doesn't like my flame swordsman for some reason. What's up with this person? Why are you being a dick? Well, looks like I don't have a choice. I'm gonna have to make flame swordsman fight this thing. It's, uh, it's a little annoying. And no one else is in range that's healthy. Obviously, armor source is amazing, but they won't make it in time. This guy's gonna move one forward. I'd rather he move one forward and attack my flame. That way it's easier to get to him. Alright, pentagram- WHAT?! Oh, it's just a reduction. I was gonna say two crits? Really? Really, game gods? I deserve that? Oh my god. I just got lucky that it wasn't a damaging move. Fine, you wanna re reduce my attack? Do it. It's only- it's only for this battle, right? Like, let me- let me see my data now. Attack's 13 all of a sudden, Jesus Christ. There's something ain't right here. Alright. If it's a permanent thing, I'm- I'm gonna be crying. I tried to get away. I didn't know that was the real threat. Alright. Just finish this thing off, I don't want to deal with it anymore. I could have let Mega Zaller do it, but screw it. <clears throat> Whew, we took a heavy loss in this first area. That sucks, man. That really sucks. Two crits on me. Two freaking crits. Uh, now we're going to have to use someone else now. <clears throat> Wing Guardian was our weakest one, though. Let's be real. I, I, did I just roll one, really? All right, monster attack it is. Well, place manually. Armor source for sure. Flame Swordsman sticks around. I think it'll be more useful here. Uh, Wolf Axe the Raider, Big Insect. We just haven't been anywhere where those guys have value. It's not like they don't have value, I'm just saying. Level 8. That's not too bad. <clears throat> yeah, you're not too bad. Great Paw, nah. Battle Guard, terrible. Uh, Axe Raider's not too bad, but the attack pattern is. Killer Needle. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's try Killer Needle. Let's, let's, let's start working with you now. Alright. I should check the data on my Flame Swordsman to make sure that wasn't permanent. Yeah, we're good. Okay. This game is not completely cruel. It's a little rude, but it's not cruel. So that means every time I see a Rogue Doll, it's just a free kill. That's good news. That is good news. So let's move our Flame Swordsman right here. Just so that we can kill the insect if it tries to move forward. Forcing the rogue doll to move forward, exactly. Then we go ahead and see what does this thing do? It's our newest member. What can you do? You don't have a, da a bad attack pattern. We can work with that. You know what? It's probably better if I move you here just to move them closer to uh, Flame Swordsman. Yes, good. Okay, now Flame Swordsman just moves one over. Well, then Big Insect would attack. You know what? I might have to leave my area just to hit this guy. Yeah. I didn't want to do it, but if they move down, then I got them. If they move up, then they're not going to hurt the rest of my team. Wow, my speed is good. I rolled a horrible roll there, and I still hit. And I have no buffs on, so that that that's good speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lower my attack, and then Mega Zaller destroys you. By 30. Jesus. Alright, big... You know what? That guy can't kill me. Big Insect's the only thing that can kill me. Just kill it. Honestly, Mega Zyra's gonna stomp on that rogue doll once and it's over. Good job, Flame Swordsman. Real proud of you, buddy. Let's see what the enemy gets, though. Oh, you're gonna do it again? Really? Pentagram Curse? No, you're not. Spell failed, loser. Mega Zyra, go ahead and show them why you're the beast of all beasts. Or dino of all dinos. Yep, accuracy damage up, 83% chance. Holy shit, I'm rolling bad. I'm lucky I'm hitting it all. Rogue Doll is tanky, I did remember that. If it tries to run, I got... It's not even trying to run, it just gave up. Okay, 17. Yeah, 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 Killer Needle has no attack stat, I get it. But what about Mega Zowler? Mega Zowler's attack stat is what you should have been afraid of. Alright, I wonder what happens if you get a Rogue Doll and like... Oh my god, really? I have been rolling so poorly, and my opponents have been critting me. Like, this is just unlucky, guys. Super unlucky. Try again. You have a field bonus. I understand you're the slow one of the team. I'm not mad if you miss every now and then. If your rolls are like, oh, you can't roll like a 65 or lower. 83% chance should be really good. 
All right. 65 or lower, I'll start to understand why I miss. Only three experience. God damn this game. Give me some experience. How am I supposed to train up a new team member? I don't even get to see what the bones are. 92. Okay. Huh. That's weird. I've been very lucky with my rolls. Up oh, there it is. I'm gonna say, that's weird. I don't see anything. He said to go up. Or it was right ahead of you. And I... I did not see anything right ahead of me. Flame Swordsman's ready. Um... Mega Zowler is ready. And finally... Killer Needle. Yeah. This is a really good matchup for me. So you stay where you are. You move forward, which will bait the other guy to move sideways, and then we move sideways. Oh, that's not the sideways I thought he would move, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, if I move this guy forward, the other guy will move forward to attack him. Killer Needle, I'm sure you can take one hit if you don't just dodge the attack. And then I was gonna move Mega Zeller forward, but my opponent didn't do anything. I'm... hmm, what's going on here? Alright, well, Rogue Doll's dead, that's the good news. It'll probably take two flame attacks, but they're going down. 33 damage. <clears throat> Finally, you decide to move. And you don't even attack, because uh, you can't attack someone directly in front of you, I forgot. Alright, assisted attack, let's go. And a, and a field bonus. I'm gonna be in the 100%s now, yeah, I was gonna say. 83, still bad rolls. But we at least got all the buffs to make sure bad rolls didn't matter. I'm curious, if I attack, will I do zero damage? Oh, especially if I get hit by a crit? 36 reduction, okay. I'm curious if I do zero damage now. I'm not doing this for fun, I mean, I'm doing this kind of for fun. It has, no, it's for science, we're learning. We're learning. Nah, it still does damage. It maybe cut my attack in half. Maybe a little more than half, but it didn't make a huge difference. I guess it would make sense if he had allies still alive. It looks like we're going to go to the right this time. Shit. A monster attack. What is it this time? Place manually. Armorsaurus. Flame Swordsman. Uh, Mega Zowler. And where's Killer Needle? I like Killer Needle. That was a really good start for me. Big Insect is kind of screwed. In fact, Armorsaurus could just win me the whole fight. I oh, a crit! Nice! Let's speed, speed things up with a critical hit. Nintendo 64 damage. Heck yeah. Alright, you move to the side because no, there was literally no other play for you. Uh, I'm going to move Flame Swordsman. If I move them up, you get baited, but I can't attack you. So it's kind of a weird situation. Uh, let's move Flame Swordsman this way, forcing my opponent to move to the side, and then I can attack with Armorsaurus. Oh, nope, they just, they know I'm stuck. Okay. Fair enough, you know I'm stuck, so I'll just move Mega Zowler forward, and then I'll come chase you down with Mega Zowler, given their attack pattern. And since you've realized what I'm doing, now I'm going to attack you twice with Armorsaurus and win the duel. Armorsaurus uses Flame, Flame goes after Rogue Doll, Rogue Doll takes big ass damage. You love to see it. And then they're going to nerf my attack stat and die anyway. They gave up. <laughs> they just gave up. Okay, at least you did the understandable play. Come here. Thank you. I'm still discovering what the prairie has to offer. Right now it's three experience every battle, which is like zero experience when you need a hundred experience. Oh look, a bridge. Oh, son of a bitch. Place manually. Armor source. This is actually a good map for Killer Needle. Good. Good. It's been a while. So let's get Killer Needle first so I don't forget. Killer Needle, I want you, like, right here. And then... Where's Flame Swordsman? Flame Swordsman, I want you in this corner. And then my boy Mega Zowler. The only guy who could take a crit, apparently. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you're gonna be taking crits, alright. In hell. Alright, move you here, because they might move that Megazower forward when I move mine forward. 
That one was expected, because I'm about to move mine forward. Flame Swordsman will be safe, and you, as long as- Look, you have the Wasteland advantage, he doesn't even have that. So as long as you land it, you're fine. You do have to be worried, though, because the other one might move forward for an assisted attack. A crit! Yeah! My turn, everybody! It's my turn! Alright, 66 damage. What are you gonna do now, Mega Zowler number two? Use your boosted attack to make me take, let's take a guess of 13 damage. Seventeen. Damn, they're way stronger here than I thought. I never knew how strong they were in the end. But we have an assisted attack with Armorsaurus. Armorsaurus is actually faster than you'd expect, so he actually has a good roll. Probably a hundred percent chance, right? Yeah. Mega Zowers are not fat. I rolled a ninety-two. This game is trying to kill me. It already killed Wing Guardian Dragon of the Fortress. It's trying to kill the rest of us. Ah, good play. They moved there knowing that I can't stop it. But, if they want to move into the Wasteland, they have to fight Armosaurus now. Ah, that play is horrible. Look, let's see, how, lo how long would it take me to kill this guy? If I move up to fight him, he'll have a Wasteland buff and then I can possibly lose. Because I think you're only level 8, right? You're not that strong. But, if you could take one attack, we're fine. As long as they don't get a crit or you don't fumble, we're fine. 19 damage, it's, look, you're underleveled, I understand. Don't worry, you're actually still a higher level than the Winged Dra Dragon was. Oh, they were just nice enough not to attack. Good. I set this up because I knew Armorsaurus would have the assist Wasteland buff, and it would all work out in the end. As long as my Killer Needle took one hit. But they didn't even have to do that because the AI just- Oh my god, what is with my rolls? Two higher than that and I'd be dead. Five experience. Thank you, Mega Zowlers, for the five experience. Let's save. Jesus Christ. This game's getting hard. I should start saving more. It's not hard. I'm just getting unlucky. Speak of the devil. Unlucky. Alright. Place manually. Oh, this is where I'd want to have my one guy, but he's dead. He died in a horrible accident. Mega Zowler, I want you here. And Killer Needle. Funny enough, I want you here. Mm. The Mega Zowler March. So I'm going to put you here. That way the other one is the one that has to make the first move. And it made a terrible play, so I can take advantage of that. So what I could do is I could move and die, or I can move and win. I'm going to move and win. Because now if the Mega Zowler moves forward, yes, it'll be able to hit two of my guys. Yes, it'll be uh, Wasteland buff, but then they'll get assisted to holy shit. I'm almost missing every single time. Can I please roll 65 and lower? Not this craziness. Oh! Instead of going for the good move, they went for the bad move, and they missed. I appreciate the bad move, because now I can make it so I don't have a chance of getting two guys hit. And maybe they'll leave Killer Needle alone. Alright, let's see. 43? Yeah, I'll take it. That's a good roll. So, big ant guy, you want to come over here? What the hell? I thought I knew your attack. I do not know your attack. I have learned something new today. I did not know what that insect's attack was. It has a weird attack pattern like this. It's a sniper? When did you become Sniper Ant? One damage. Oh, well. You know, with all strengths, there are weaknesses. And your weaknesses, you suck. So if I move one here... Oh, they might go after my other insect, actually. Let's move you forward instead, just because... I want them to go after Mega Zowler rather than my other insect, yeah. It's more worthwhile for them to, to do that. I'm still training that other insect. He needs more time. He needs a little bones magic. Alright, flame attack, go. I'll take 64 damage, or 37. Oh, that'll do it, exactly. It has a cool attack pattern, but it doesn't have any damage. Or health, it must be a very low level. God, to every freaking roll, man. Oh, this game just hates me. All right, let's get Flame Swordsman in the corner. Let's get ourselves a Killer Needle right up front. And let's get ourselves a Mega Zowler kind of here. We're going to yeah, kind of be in this area. Okay, good. I can kill off the Rogue Doll early. That's That feels good. That big insect, I understand why it's there. It's for sniping purposes. Again, can I roll under a 65? 
just for my own conscience, because I, I feel real bad when I don't see it. I see, like, just the odds trying to destroy me. Oh, wow, you can fumble? Alright, well, that spell fumbled. Yeah, I'm gonna move forward just to see if I can get the other guy to move sideways. Because if he moves sideways, I'm good at 80. Yeah, no, the game is trying to kill me. If it wasn't for me grinding up and getting a good level, we would have been dead by now. Think of all the attacks we would have missed due to bad speed. Alright, Killer Needle, you're obviously the guy who can hit this guy, but I'm gonna move Megazower forward. Because you don't want to be the guy that gets hit by this guy. Okay, now you can move forward, don't worry. As long as he doesn't go back to his corner, you're good. Oh, even better. He's going after Armorsaurus, who loves getting attacked. It's his favorite. Okay, well, he will get attacked eventually. Just give him time. You move forward, because he can't hit you anyway. Oh, he's trying to, though. Alright, so now he's going to be able to hit you, but you're fine. What am I doing? Let Armorsaurus do it. He's got everything. Armorsaurus has everything going for them. Every positive thing on my team has to do with uh, with my Armorsaurus. 100% chance of hitting. I don't, that thing's like level 2, isn't it? It may have a cool attack pattern, but it has to be like level 2. 3 experience? That's outrageous. Please not another one. Again. Oh my god. Every roll is below 40, which is only good during the fight. I don't want it to happen when I'm not already in battle. I mean, come on, game. Don't you know the difference? You, you really don't, do you? Alright, where's my killer needle? Killer needle, get over here. You're gonna be over there. Oh, good. It's just a Mega Zowler. So if I move you... Ah, screw it. He can't... Mm. Be careful. You already lost one card to, or capsule to a Mega Zowler. If I move here, he'll move forward. That way he can hit two guys. But, I'm okay with Armorsaurus having less damage. Well, honestly, you might be able to one-shot it. See if you can one-shot it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, critical hit. Make up for all of Armorsaurus' 70s to 80s. One experience. Yay! Right, let's try this again. Can I keep moving without getting freaking attack? Oh my god! Really, gay? Give me one roll! Or, uh, there's no experience! This would be okay if the game was giving me experience, but this uh, this doesn't count. This doesn't count as experience. Not when freaking uh, bones exist. As long as bones exist, I don't count this as experience. This is just sad. This is madness. Can I move you forward to see if he'll move? If he moves to the side, I kill him. If he moves forward, I kill him. Yep, it's a win-win. Alright. You chose death. The Body Slam of Doom. 85, or 86%, 28. Perfect roll. Alright, now, you're gonna move forward or sideways? Actually, it doesn't matter. It's a death move either way. Forward, you hit Mega Zowler. Mega, you're, just, you're just dead either way. It did not matter. Enjoy your field bonus. Enjoy your 77% chance of hitting me. Enjoy your 20. Whoa, this one's pretty high level. Why is it doing so? How are you worth one experience if you can almost kill my guys? Here, give me an assist on this one. Should get my accuracy up to what, like 90 something? 96? Hell yeah. 73, that's good enough. Alright, we've done it. Another Mega Zowler for one experience. Thank you, game. Thank you for nothing. Alright, looks like this is how we go. Oh my god. Just, just kill me. Just kill me! I, I think we've had, what, seven battles per in a row? I feel like it's been like seven battles in a row. That is just wild to me. Alright, Killer Needle, are you ready? Oh, that's good. Killer Needle will be bait. The bad part is Flame Swordsman can't really hit that guy. Alright, Armor Swords move one up to bait the enemies. Good. That we won. Oh, they even attack. Weird. You're a little weirdo, you know that? Here, I'm gonna show you the power of the Mega Zowler. Alright, I understand you'll probably survive this attack, but you won't survive well. Oh. Yeah, no, you... I think that was exact damage. That's wild. Okay, the other one on the left. Yeah, exactly. That's fine by me. You want to play this game? I'll play this game with you. 
All right, so they have me a little bit of a position here, but if I move Flame Swordsman here, they have to move sideways into Armor Source, because moving forward would have no value, since they wouldn't be able to get my guy. So I just gotta keep you here. You... Hmm. Actually, they do have me where I'm scared of crits because of what happened earlier today, but I don't know. Is my speed going to be enough without the boost? And do I really want to give him the boost? Wouldn't I rather just wait? Punk Swordsman, if we move over here, you're safer. Just move over here. I want Mega Zaller to attack my Armor Saurus. Okay, so this is fine because he loses the boost. And I'm cool with that. Oh my god, I knew it. They keep getting crits. It can't... They can't keep getting away with this. What's your attack stat? 20? What's your attack stat? 23? Okay. Because if I move you forward... Yeah, we'll get the stuff, but it won't be as much damage, I don't think. Look, they just keep getting crits. It's very upsetting. That's why I wanted my takes up front, but it might not matter. Okay, we hit them. We got 31 damage, which is not nearly enough. We weren't going to one-shot a Mega Zaller anyway, but... Two crits in a row would be un ungodly. Okay. Still alive, barely. We have just enough health left to win this small battle over here. And then our focus is just protect the Mega Zowler. Get him out of here. It's like a 100% chance of hitting, right? I'll take it. Holy crap. Now the other Mega Zowler should probably move sideways to attack my Armor Saurus. Interesting. I at least find that interesting. I, I just don't want this Mega Zowler anywhere near him. I don't want him to die. So now he's going to move forward. You just want my Mega Zowler. Leave him alone. Run. Run, Mega Zowler. They, they're just trying to kill off my best cards. They only killed off my worst so far, though. Okay, fine. I'll take this. This is what I wanted all along. If they had moved sideways... Oh my god. I swear. I swear to god. These are crit sources. That's all they do is crit. Luckily, Armor Source is way tankier than anything else because it's so high level. Oh my god. I, I knew they were going to crit me too. I was so scared. I was so scared because I knew about the crits. I felt them in my soul. My turn. If I had to live through an episode of only crits, it would be the worst because that just means I'm at risk. If we had an episode with no crits, we're fine. Oh my god, where are we? You arrive at the East Gate. Every five steps, you have a 45... It doesn't matter. You could say a 5% chance. I'd still be fighting every turn. Guys, that's gonna be it. Please, remember to like and subscribe, and tell the game to stop being a dick. Please.